Hey, it's Beanie here. This is my morning exercise that I will do every morning. Today is a little bit late because it's a school holiday. Well, this video, I want to share with you what I did last night or yesterday for uh, yen trades. That was a short the yen pass and to show you the method I'm using. Okay, so this is uh, Euro Yen. I shorted this trade around here at this bar here. Right, so let me just uh, explain the setup here. So mainly I'm using the concept of wash and means and if you want to know more about wash and means, you can head on to my website to take the basic module one of wash and means, right? I've listed down how wash and means uh, pattern looks like and how I can use it. All right, so what I have here is uh, part of the uh, Tor system, the alien wash system. And uh, what I did is this is a four hour chart, but I drew in the weekly time frame uh, boxes, which shows me the price movement all right, of one week. So the outline of this box here is in blue. So this would be the high and the low of uh, last week. That's one week, right? And then this one would shows the opening price and this would be the closing price. Okay, so it gives me a very good idea of a week uh, by week movement here. So first thing what you have to know is that week by week priced it's heading up until this point here, all right, priced barely can move up. Okay, so you can see each of the week high and week low as the uh, support resistance level. So for example, this would be a resistance level of uh, two weeks ago. So this was the resistance level of the last week and this is the current resistance level of this week here. Right. Okay, so what happened is that if you know the idea of wash and means, it means that you have a price level, price shot up, but it cannot maintain at the breakout level here. So because this was a resistance and price broke above the resistance, right? So wash and means means that basically price moved back down. So this would be the most simplified understanding of wash and means. Okay. So in this case here, how I traded was to see this as a resistance and to see this as a resistance. All right, and um, and I label these as that means I quantify my resistance. I'm able to say that this is a one week high, and then this is two weeks high, right? And what happened to this black color bar here? The black color bar, just one H four bar, one four hour, was able to break and close below. All right, was able to break and close below two weeks high. So in this case here, if you imagine that one four hour bar, that means that four hours of traders within that four hours bar was able to colonize or was able to close below two weeks of traders. Okay, so that means that that selling force would be literally quite uh, strong, right? And of course that uh, paired with uh, the lower time frame, all right, there was a sell signal for us here and I traded at this level here. All right, but uh, our alert came in at this level, but I was uh, thinking that, hey, look, this could be a counter trend trade. So what I did was that I actually did a sell limit back inside here. So if you take a look at my trade, uh, I uh, shorted around uh, 170.35. Okay, so where was 170.35, right? So it was somewhere around uh, here. Okay, so that's 170.35. So that was exactly where I've traded uh, in a way that I, I uh, let price retrace back up into the zone of resistance and then hit on a sell limit, right? And I was uh, fortunate to be able to exit near to the low price. And where was that low price? It's also following a weak high here. So this weak high means that, you see, these are like weeks of price going up, right? And since I shorted at the bar where it closed below two weeks high, High. So I just close my trade at this week high here, which it's logical because price had already moved down quite substantially. So what I did was to close at 168.1. So it's, that's really near to the low point and uh, it was just about a uh, less than a day, uh, I mean trade, right? Uh, but with this technique, uh, I'm able to, or rather you are able to see very clearly your support resistance level and not only that, right, you're able to quantify that. And this is what I loved about the alien war systems because uh, it's a mathematical way of looking at prices. There's no, uh, you know, guesswork here. Right? Everything is very systematic, uh, you know, because a lot of time, right, when traders 
are not able to trade. That's because they do not know how to trade. They know their trading method. Okay, they know very well at the back of their hands, right, how the system works. It's just that they don't have that commitment to pull the trigger. Uh, and if you don't have the commitment to pull the trigger, it means that it could be something where your sickness or your trading system is very fluid. And then you might not be able to be convinced at a point of time, especially, you know, trading can be very fast and quick uh, where you need to make a decision, right? Okay, so in this case, yeah, I hope that by sharing with you how I look at support resistance, that means to look Look at a weak high, weak low, and to quantify that, it's gonna help you. And this trade uh, was great, and and now we are waiting for another one more sell signal because uh, then it's entering into our resistance zone here, and it's entering into our support zone here, right? So we are just waiting to see where the price can head back down, right? And is in this case here, the support resistance can be quantifiable because then these would be one week high, two weeks low, and a three weeks low, right? So all together, this zone is made up of three weeks of a support resistance, which in fact, right, give gives the traders a bit of a confidence to say that, hey, look, you know, this is an important area that uh, you want to look at. Have you clicked the subscribe button? And how about a like? All right, so this is an empty chart. What you need to do is to press Ctrl Y to get your period separator in a H4 time frame. So if you go to a H4 time frame, automatically the period separator will show you that this is a week. Then uh, get your boxes out, the one that draw your boxes. If you can't see on your platform here, so what you do is that you go to this arrow, any, any place here, just right click and then go to customize. Then scroll down, you should be able to see this rectangle and then press insert. And it should show on the selected uh, panel here, then close, and it will appear here where you can draw your boxes. Okay. So what you do is that you use the period separator as a guide and you choose the highest point and you choose the lowest point according to the period separator. So you can just configure your boxes here by right click on the small little you know rectangle here. And then you just click on rectangle properties and you are able to change the color of the lines and as well as where you want to draw the object as a background and uh, also where you want to visualize to show your boxes, okay? All right, so in this case here, by uh, not drawing the object as a background, I'm able to only draw the frame here. So that's the one uh, box uh, for this week here. And this one would be the current box, okay? So you can just want to extend that to show in the, uh, the period separator. And this one would be also another one more box high using the period separator. Okay, so you just draw the highest and the lowest point of the period separator like this and easily you'll be able to get like an idea of that price week to week has been actually moving up but coming to somewhere around this week here it's starting to show uh, declining in terms of its strength because then it's making like almost a uh, same week high okay and also around this candle that i shot at here so this one uh, it's uh, wash and means uh, two weeks high Okay, so that's a very easy way for you to draw your boxes. All right, I hope that this sharing is useful to you. But as I always say to my students, I think that it's very difficult for us to really give you a very comprehensive uh, view or education on YouTube uh, because it's a really a short video. Probably we we'll just give a snapshot of whatever that we are using. So if you like to know more a comprehensive uh, training method, uh, then please head to my website because I think that my website has a lot more information over there. And uh, I've created a free module on the Alien Washed, which is basically using wash and means to trade. Uh, that is uh, like a five to six hours of lesson. So I think that will be a little bit more comprehensive. Or if you want to take the paid module, the paid module is paid, but uh, we do have a promotion and it's an ongoing promotion where the cost fee is fully refunded uh, in a very creative manner. It doesn't mean that you are worse off uh, because we have gotten the money from the sponsor. But yes, it means that uh, you get to learn the wash and means method, but at the same time, you do get your cost fee uh, as a form of cash back. All right, uh, I've come to the end of this video. I hope that this sharing is useful. As I said, trading doesn't need to be uh, difficult. Uh, it's something that you should be comfortable of uh, about when you trade, when you click the button, it shouldn't stress you out. 
All right, see you in my next video. And remember to click uh, the subscribe button if you do want to be updated as soon as I launch new videos. These are trades which are done by myself or my students using the Alien Wall strategy. Join our community and take advantage of our six times a week training lessons, automated trade signals, and live trading sessions with our experienced alien traders. And for a limited time, we are offering a 100% full cashback offer on our course fee. That's right, you can learn our strategy risk free. Over 1,000 students have already taken advantage of this offer and seen success. Visit this website now to learn more and join our community.